Okay. This is from the CSIRO website. It's like an Australian, you know, department of uh, like environment. They do all kinds of experiments and all kinds of stuff. Yes, car more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere helps plants grow, but it's no excuse to downplay. Forests are remarkable at drawing carbon from the atmosphere and they're getting better at it. New research highlights how important it is to protect forests so they can help us fight. The alarming rate of carbon dioxide flowing into our atmosphere is affecting plant life in interesting ways, but perhaps not in the way you'd expect. Large, despite large losses of vegetation, land clearing, drought, wildfires, carbon dioxide is stored, absorbed and stored in vegetation soils at a growing rate. This is called land carbon sink, a term describing how vegetation and soils around the world absorb more carbon dioxide from photosynthesis than they realise. And over the past 50 years, the sink, the difference between the uptake and the release of the carbon dioxide by these plants has been increasing, absorbing at least a quarter of human emissions in every year. Average year. The oceans are actually the biggest absorber of carbon. Oh, this bloody cat. But don't get confused, our discovery doesn't mean emitting carbon dioxide is a good thing. We should pump out more carbon dioxide. Or that land-based ecosystems are removing more carbon dioxide emissions than we previously thought. We already knew how much this is from scientific measurements. And it definitely doesn't mean we should, as climate spectics have done, use the concept of carbon dioxide fertilisation to downplay the severity of the change. Rather, our findings provide a new and clearer explanation of what causes vegetation around the ground to absorb more carbon than it releases. What's more, we highlight the capacity of vegetation to absorb a proportion of human emissions slowing the rate of change. This underscores the urgency to protect and restore terrestrial ecosystems like forest savannas and glasslands and secure their carbon stocks. And while more carbon is in the atmosphere, does allow landscapes to absorb more carbon, almost half, 44% of emissions that remain in the atmosphere. More carbon dioxide makes plants more efficient. And this is true, I mean, scientists in the 40s and the 50s had a greenhouse and they pumped it full of carbon dioxide and the plants grew huge. Those old folks that grew the huge bell pumpkins and zucchinis at the shows, they did something similar. They pumped them full of carbon dioxide. Since the beginning of last century, photosynthesis on a global scale has increased in nearly consistent proportion to the rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide. Both are now around 30% higher than 19th century before the industrialization began to generate significant emissions. Carbon dioxide fertilization is responsible for at least 80% of the increase in photosynthesis. Most of the rest is attributed to a lower, longer growing season and the rapidly warming boreal forest in the Ar Arctic. Now, everyone says that the, the rainforests are the biggest absorbers. They're not. The ocean is, and the ocean is polluted with plastic. And the ones that are doing it, all those ones that have that little sign, you know, the WWE and the dolphin ones, they're all in the group that is distracting and causing all of these problems because they are killing the oceans. They put these big dragnets in, take everything. They don't care about the bycatch. <clears throat> they ruin the coral and they burn the um, oil from the fuel that wasn't used. They burn it. 
So how does more carbon dioxide lead to more plant growth anyway? High concentrations of carbon dioxide makes plants more productive because photosynthesis relies on the sun's energy to synthesize sugar out of carbon dioxide and water. Plants and ecosystems use both sugar both as an energy source and as a basic building block for growth. When the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air outside the plant leaf goes up, it can be taken up faster, supercharging the rate of photosynthesis. More carbon dioxide means water savings for plants. More carbon dioxide means pores on the surface of the plant leaves regulate evaporation causes of timer, can close slightly, and they still absorb the same amount or more carbon dioxide but lose less water. The resulting water saver. Savings can benefit vegetation and semi-arid landscapes that dominate much of Australia. We saw this happen in the 2013 study, which analysed satellite data measuring changes in overall greenness in Australia. Showed more leaf in area of places where the amount of rain hadn't changed over time. This suggests water efficiency of plants increases in carbon dioxide richer world. In other research published recently, we mapped the carbon uptake of forests of different ages around the world. We showed forests regrowing on an abandoned agricultural land occupied in a larger area and draw down even more carbon dioxide than old growth forests globally. But why? In a mature forest, the depth of old tree balances the amount of new wood grown each year. The old trees lose their wood and soil and eventually to the atmosphere through deep composition. Regrowing forest, on the other hand, is still accumulating wood and it means that it can act as a considerable sink for carbon until the tree mortality and decomposition catch up with the rate of growth. This age effect is superimposed on the carbon dioxide fertilization effect, making young forests potentially very strong sinks. In fact, globally, we found such regrowing forests are responsible for around 60% of total carbon dioxide removal by forest overall. Their expansion by reforestation should be encouraged. Forests are important to society for many reasons. Biodiversity, mental health, recreation, water resources, bioabsorbing missions, they are also part of our valuable arsenal to culminate combat climate it's vital we protect them yeah so um <laughs> carbon does get stored in the trees and that but when you cut the tree down the carbon comes out anyway just wanted to share this one with you all